Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation. Transformation. Momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Well, today on our region's business, celebrating our entrepreneurs of the year, or at least the nominees. But first, the state of downtown Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership has released its latest assessment of the progress our region's urban core has made in recent years and a guide in a bit of a way for what's left to do as well. Jeremy Waldrop is back with us. He's president and CEO of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership. Welcome back. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah, this is really cool. I was just leafing through the document, the state of downtown Pittsburgh, and it's pretty much everything you'd want to know about downtown these days. Yeah, we took a look at seven economic indicators of downtown Pittsburgh and really just tried to provide a comprehensive snapshot. It's an objective viewpoint of everything that we think is important for folks to know about downtown Pittsburgh and the economic activity that's occurring there. Well, some of this data, the partnership's been reporting on a fairly regular basis for years, right? Exactly, yeah. We have been kind of a resource specifically on a lot of residential market information, but what we haven't been doing is really compiling this in one comprehensive place. So we're hopeful that investors looking at the downtown market will see this as a real guide for them, that small businesses or, or any business looking to come downtown We'll be able to use this as just a, a, a good benchmark for what's going on. Well, and it's fun to leaf through. I just happened to open the page to restaurants and retail, and uh, you know, we're all there's always so much angst here about department stores. Sure. And it ain't like it used to be, but actually, relative to a lot of cities, it seems to be relatively healthy downtown. Right? Yeah, 300 restaurants downtown, almost 200 retailers and service businesses. Um, we highlight, of course, Market Square. It couldn't be 2012 report without talking about Market Square. We had 10 new restaurants open there this year. Um, which is just phenomenal within a block and a half of Market Square. So we want to highlight those real successes and then talk about where we think there are real opportunities, which we think there's a lot to do still in the retail market. Well, again, if people haven't been downtown, especially now that the weather's getting nice again, uh, you know, Market Square has really turned into a destination for those of us who work in downtown Pittsburgh, but I suspect for visitors as well. Exactly, yeah. Market Square will kick off the uh, farmer's market next week. We are really looking forward to another great season in Market Square. Yeah, what I also see a lot when I walk around town are uh, office buildings being converted into apartment buildings, and that seems to be a really big part of the story these days. Exactly. We have 350 units under construction now in downtown. That's on top of over 200 units that have come online in just the last two years. And there's one graph in the document. You really see this spike, this sudden surge. What's going on? What seems to be <laughs> driving that? Well, I think everyone's realizing that even during the downturn, the housing market in downtown Pittsburgh just performed really well. And so you're starting to see investors acknowledge that performance and want to get a piece of the pie. So we've had some really great um, developers come in, the Pyatts, um, with their properties down to the point, as well as PMC, who's uh, just completed one conversion and it looks like they're getting ready to start on the Regional Enterprise Tower. Um, hopefully later this year with a with an office and residential conversion split there. I've been around long enough, 30 years, to remember when Jack Hines was talking about, you know, if we build this cultural district thing, someday some people will actually want to live downtown. It took about 25 years, but uh, it, it, se it seems to be happening. Why do people want to live downtown? You cover a little bit of that in the report as well. It's the ease of access. A lot of people value walking to work. It's like, hey, who cares about the commute? I have a 10-minute walk, so why wouldn't you want to be, you know, 10 minutes away from your work, 10 minutes away from a restaurant. You can meet your friends there. They're all coming down. As we like to say, all roads lead downtown. Do you see just the demographic or attitudes changing in general across the country when it comes to living in downtown versus the suburbs? I think so. You see a big push for folks. Quality of life is a big deal, and, and people spend a lot of time commuting, so minimizing that commute is, is a big bonus for folks, and people are starting to pay a premium for that. Who do you think is going to use this report? Who's it really for? I think it, it's for downtown investors, so folks looking to enter the downtown office market, either as an investor of purchasing a real estate asset, looking to move their business downtown. We also think that potential residents will use this, because everyone's trying to make sure that they're making good investments in this economy, and this will really I hope ease the mind of folks, and we also hope it will show some real opportunities and show that, that the Pittsburgh market, downtown specifically, is, is very stable, has been for a number of years, and, uh, and we're really excited to get it out there and, and get some feedback from folks. We hope that this will be uh, the first of many of these annual reports that we release that allows us to really uh, set the trends 
and acknowledge our opportunities in downtown Pittsburgh. And I guess when you look at the office market, it's pretty healthy these days. Yeah, uh, if you look at 2009, vacancy rates of about 14%. We're now 7.4% wow. ending the quarter. So it's very tight, 30 million square feet of office space. Um, there's not a lot of, of room in there right now. So we're really pleased with that. That's gotta be a lot better than many other places in the United States. Exactly, yeah, you didn't see a lot of the speculative construction go on here and that really has paid off. And I think that's why you have companies like Highwoods with their purchase of PPG last year. Coming into this market, they really recognize um, how affordable things are, uh, the value that you can get for the assets that we have and the fact that, that this is a really solid investment for them for the long term. I probably should ask you, how exactly do you define downtown Pittsburgh? You know, for most of everybody's memory, it's been sort of the golden triangle. So what exactly is downtown these days? So we kind of segment it in two ways. We, we do look at the golden triangle specifically for some facts and figures, but we also realize that downtown's expanding as development occurs in the North Shore. We also have the 28 acres um, at the former arena site that's going to be redeveloped, so we talk about that. We also talk about Station Square. Um, uptown a little bit and then the near strip district because as you look that's where downtown will continue to to grow and evolve and really um, the, the lines will be really blurred into those communities that are adjacent to downtown. Well you think about the new T extension all the way out to, to Heinz Field that has to be by itself changing the patterns related to downtown. Most definitely we've seen a tremendous surge in parking in the North Shore as a result of the T's opening and we're really pleased to see that we hope that next year a big part of the story will be the success of kind of expanding downtown's boundaries to the North Shore and there's a lot of anticipated development that's an option there for the North Shore that wouldn't necessarily be in, in the triangle itself. And if people want to get a copy of the report, I assume it's available online? Online, downtownpittsburgh.com, front and center, you can't miss it. We'll be also releasing uh, quarterly updates, so a lot of the information that you see here, so you can sign up for those on our website as well. Very good. Jeremy Waldrop from the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership. Thanks so much. Good Thank to see you. you again. Yeah. And next up, Ernst & Young celebrates our region's Entrepreneurs of the Year. Stay with us.